As we ultimately demonstrate the most challenging capabilities, we will be able to send humans on extended excursions to the surface of our moon, Mars, and its moons. An anticipated offshoot of our enterprise will be enhanced U.S. economic competitiveness and development of new commercial markets, capitalizing on the American ideals of competition and innovation. We'll benefit from our aerospace industry's decades of experience while engaging a generation of new space entrepreneurs. Through the partnership of NASA with established and entrepreneurial corporations paving the way to Earth orbit, NASA will be the catalyst of a global space exploration movement as nations across the globe join together to explore beyond our home planet. Government has blazed the path to low Earth orbit in the past. New players are now ready to engage that field. These are companies both large and small, with many strengths to offer. They, too, are often about enabling technologies, improving our ability to live and make discoveries in space. As we engage industry and other nations, we will also engage young minds to imagine what is possible and to bring these dreams to fruition. So how do we start? Well, we've actually already begun. Central to our 21st century space enterprise is full utilization of the International Space Station. Through the President's new direction, we'll be using this laboratory to move productively, to more productively learn about what is needed to send humans further into space. The President's support for extending the ISS to 2020 or beyond gives the nation an enormous payback on its investment. Through utilization of this laboratory, we have already learned more about growing plants in space, about water processing and conservation, and thus closed loop life support, about the behavior of viruses, and about the heart and other muscles and bones in the body. This is vital knowledge, and we've only begun the research with our partners, academia, and industry. Our new space enterprise requires that we fundamentally transform our approach and make the required technological investments so that we may ultimately pass on a spacefaring capability to our children and our children's children. This shift will also create new research products, businesses, industries, and a host of technology and space-oriented jobs across our nation and the world. Consider how our options of, for human exploration of our solar system will change when inflatable habitats, next generation heavy lift rockets, and advanced in-space propulsion technologies are available for our use. Consider the gains in human adaptability to the space environment when we have improved knowledge about radiation shielding and the life support systems. Consider the revolution in space exploration possible when we can live off the land and make fuel and other consumables on other planets rather than bringing it all with us. Now is the time to mature a strategically selected set of these systems from concept to flight. We're fortunate to build on deep expertise and experience already existing at NASA. We've already demonstrated some important results, extracting oxygen from soil at field sites in Hawaii. Already, we have sent an early robotic precursor, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, to the moon, demonstrating how a well-conceived satellite can do good science and pave the way for future human missions. We've been taking small steps along this path, but now we have a more aggressive technology-enabled plan matched with the resources to carry it out. We refer to the technologies we want to develop as game-changing. We want to make things possible that a generation ago seemed impossible. We want to build a broad, deep te technical expertise that includes industry, international partners, academia, and the very best and brightest young minds that want to join us in this endeavor. We want to change the playing field and make it possible once again for innovation to thrive and for new inventors and designers to get their chance to shine. Not all of them will succeed, and that's okay. We're going to be open to all possibilities, and we're going to take measured risks because this increases our chances for success. By making a robust set of investments today, our nation's future human exploration opportunities will be enormous. And the technological and scientific leadership of the United States 
will be strong and sure. Through our technology enabling approach, NASA can also be an important catalyst for innovation and economic expansion across the nation. Re-engaging American universities, small businesses, inventors, and innovators from across this great land. This investment will not only allow NASA to return to its roots as a national driver of innovation, enabling the emergence of commercial industry, but will spur contributions to the broader national needs in energy, weather and climate, earth science, health and wellness, and national security, just to name a few. I can't emphasize enough how passionately President Obama and I feel about educating and inspiring the next generation. That's one reason there's a big education component in this budget as well. Today's students will be undertaking a lot of this work or carrying it to the next level. I have no idea if my granddaughters will love space as much as I do, but they'll have friends who will, I'm certain. In the wake of discoveries from such great instruments as the Hubble Space Telescope, and other great observatories. We've rewritten the textbooks in astrophysics and space science in just the past couple of years. And we haven't even launched the James Webb Space Telescope or come close to evaluating the results of Kepler's patient peering at extrasolar planets. Even with all we've done in past decades, the advances of just the last generation, we have barely begun to scratch the surface not only on what we are capable of achieving technologically, but what we can discover about our solar system and our universe. And that's really the vision the president has for us. It's no longer about science versus exploration. It's about what we can achieve as a unified community who are dedicated to finding out more about our true capabilities, who want to strive again for what may seem impossible or unachievable. The plan for our future exploration is beginning to take shape. In implementing this new era of exploration, we will pursue incremental, measured progress. You're going to see a lot of ground and space demonstrations that will build on our heritage and build on, a seri on, on each successive milestone. We want to mature emerging technologies to, fight, to flight readiness levels and get them there with a sense of urgency. We want to flight test these technologies. We want to send out precursor flights to the moon, near-Earth asteroids, Mars, or other destinations. These precursor flights, serving as technology demonstrators, will allow us to perfect our concepts of precision landing on dis distant heavenly bodies, or refine our systems for resource prospecting and production so we can begin reliable, autonomous operations prior to human arrival. Our early technology efforts will advance power, communications, propulsion, and life support, building new capabilities to improve our ability to work in space and also improve life here on Earth. An example of one early demonstration is in the field of robotics, where NASA has been working in cooperation with General Motors on the next generation of advanced robots. In coming months aboard the International Space Station, NASA will demonstrate this technology to advance efforts in human robotic collaboration that are required to produce, to improve productivity, reduce cost, and mitigate risks of our future spaceflight programs. Simultaneously, this development program has, a, has been of great benefit on Earth, where it has improved the nation's competitiveness in the automobile industry. We call it Robonaut its current version, R2, and that's not a movie or a video game. R2 is a dexterous robot, so lifelike in some ways it's almost uncanny. It has amazingly precise fingers, for example, with great strength and responsiveness. This is just one of the capabilities that NASA will demonstrate on its pathway to sustainable human exploration beyond low Earth orbit. Over the next few years, Others, including advances in life support systems, inflatable habitats, heavy lift, and in-space propulsion will follow this milestone. Over the next few months, we will be releasing additional details on specific missions in our new exploration enterprise portfolio. Like the grand challenges of first crossing the ocean or building the transcontinental railroad, 
Implementation of this grand plan must begin with technolo technology innovation. These past challenges not only utilized our best talent, but also inspired generations to pursue challenging goals, created new industries, and ultimately improved our country and the world. Similar opportunities are in front of us now. So where do we go from here? NASA's planning teams are currently laying out the details of this grand exploration enterprise. Through a rigorous systems engineering process, the agency will ensure that our technology development, robotic missions, human research and, net and national infrastructure are aligned to accomplish the United States' goals in human exploration. This activity will conduct mission analysis and spacecraft design studies to define scenarios for reaching our exploration destinations and determining their proper sequencing. Potential future international partners, academia and industry, will be included in this process to gather their diverse viewpoints and unique capabilities. In this manner, the nation's investments in technology and systems development will be aligned with our objectives in space exploration. Let me end where I began this talk. The President and I, in fact everyone at NASA, is committed to a vibrant future for human spaceflight. I bet everyone in this room is also committed to a healthy space program. Let's work together to ensure that the goals of our commitment are fully realized, to make the dreams of our children reality, to create a space exploration enterprise worthy of a great nation. Thank you all very much for allowing me to be here with you, and God bless you all. Thank you.